everyone, this is Grace. Today, I'm really excited to show you something that I just bought. Ta-da! This is my new Philips Promix handheld blender. I may have noticed that in my other videos, I have been using a handheld blender. That one is a Kenwood and it is a little bit more expensive, a little bit more top of the range. Uh, it comes with a few attachments as well. So I, so I was thinking, what if I just wanted a simple handheld blender, a basic one, just for me to use for making purees for my baby, or even just purees like pumpkin soup, things like that, or smoothies, and yet something that was priced a little more uh, reasonably, and uh, yet convenient and easy to use. And that is why I got myself this after browsing. So I sing this blender out with you today. Let's get okay, let's find out what's in the box first. So it comes with a manual, of course. And then we have got the blender itself. how it looks like and this one is to be attached to the blender so it goes on like this and lastly there is this cup for you to blend in So this is a plastic cup, which means that if your food is a little bit hot, it can't go in here immediately. Um, I like it that it's tall enough, and the idea is that you put the food in, and you blend. So the, the height of the cup prevents the food that you're blending from splattering. Okay, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to wash these parts, and we're going to test this blender out together. So let's set up the blender. I've washed these two attachments and I'm going to attach this attachment to the blender. It's just a simple click and to remove it, I have to press this button and pull. It's that simple. I'm going to start with blending the first food which is my apple to make an apple smoothie. I'll need to add in some water. So this is the first time I am doing this. I have to estimate the amount of water I want to use. And um, I'm going to test out the blender just to make sure it's working by turning on the button. Okay, it's working fine right now. Okay. Let's go. It feels like it's done and it looks like it's done. So it was actually pretty fast to blend. Uh, the fruits look like they've blended pretty well. There are still a few chunks here and there that I can see, um, but maybe a little longer blending, it should work just fine. And I put too much water. So the next round, I'm going to try this again with lesser water and I think it's great. So pass, first one. For my next test, I'm going to be trying out this pumpkin soup. So same thing, pour it in. And my pumpkin soup is done. Again, there was too much water, but because pumpkin was cooked and it is um, it was softer than the apple, it took a lot faster to blend and it was really easy. I could feel the blender going right in there and just blending everything into this um, smooth pumpkin soup that you can see. So, test two, pass! 
Okay, finally, I am going to try blending this baby porridge. I added water, a little too much water the first two times so this round I am going to try blending it just dry like this and see how it turns out. That was really fast. So I guess um, putting in too much water does actually kind of obstruct the blending. For this one, I blended it fairly dry and it blended into a puree like almost instantly it definitely wasn't even a minute and the texture is just great now for baby food it's really great so test tree pass i'm gonna wrap up today's session with what i think of this blender overall so firstly in terms of ease of use it definitely checked that box um, after i unboxed it all i had to do was plug and play. It was really that simple. I didn't even have to refer to the manual or worry that I was doing something wrong. Um, the blender itself was very intuitive and user-friendly. I kind of knew which buttons already were for what function, so that is definitely a plus point on the ease of use factor. On the second factor, which is um, effectiveness, so initially, I was expecting this blender to not blend as well as the Kenwood blender and mainly because it is a 650 watts blender whereas my Kenwood is a higher powered one at 800 watts and I thought that perhaps I would need a little bit longer to blend my food or perhaps the food would not come out as well or as fine but I have to say I am really impressed by this blender because when I was using it I didn't really feel the difference between this blender and the one that I have been using previously so it definitely scores on the effectiveness point and lastly in terms of pricing I got this blender for about a hundred ish and uh, I will let you know the exact pricing here um, so I would say this is a reasonably priced product. So overall, my take on this blender is it is worth it. If you are looking for a simple and easy blender, a relatively cheap blender to use for your baby's food, I'd say this blender is the one to go for. Well, that's all I have to share with you for today. If you have any other questions, just let me know in the comments down below and I will do my best to answer them. Like this video and I will see you in my next video. Bye!